Do kids in China count bats when they have a hard time staying awake during finals week? Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> Why didn't you get your vaccination shot yet? Because I don't have a job at Salesforce to go back to, nor am I a CCP-controlled pawn of the U.S. military. Plus, if I wanted to join the Army now, I wouldn't be accepted in it because my Gmail search history on youporn.com means I'm against Sharia law and general mutilation, which isn't gay enough for Mayor Pete's butt plug taste. Can I get a holla? Privacy not playing it safe. In the hopes of securing a stable uh, white collar employment ever again. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> Why haven't I got the vaccine yet? Because I don't light up with joy at the prospect of wearing a sticker that says, Just vaccinated. In case you think, I'm on Trumpy Poo's side now, too. Why haven't I gotten the vaccine yet? Because if shriekish leftists, fuckwads didn't have their heads so high up their ass they'd be able to see they're not the only ones allowed to resist why haven't i got, why haven't i gotten the vaccine yet because the pediatrician for my three kids told me to get one and he thinks biden won fair and square yeah and hunter loves giving up blow for blow painting despite the confidential sources from China paying him 500 grand to watch him blow freaking ink on a uh, piece of paper. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> Why did Biden get more votes than Obama? Doc? Because Mr. Groper looks like a more virile Jimmy Carter in Aviator Shades? Holla! Thank you very much! School nurse sent my kid home today. Because he coughed, bullshit, bullshit, after his friend Hobbs insisted he got COVID earlier this year from watching a Trump rally on Fox News. I hate to see Biden in his diaper mask. It feels like the CCP dumped a septic tank into my mouth. Doctor, <laughs> doctor asked me, how do you think your son could have gotten COVID before his test results came back? And I said, we looted a target. In Minneapolis for George Floyd Appreciation Day. But don't worry, Doc. We stole all the masks we could find. So we could throw a burning mask party in style on July 4th, to be exact. To light a fire under any patriotic verve Lady Liberty has left. This is the Doodle Dad Year Podcast. I do lots of jokes, as you could see. <laughs> Controlling our kids a comedy can make our kids great again. My three fuss free kids, 98.9% .9 of the time, are living proof of it. For Father's Day, you don't have to worry anymore for gifts. Just go to Amazon. For the whopping total of $3.99 for the ebook version, if your father does ebooks. If he wants a regular hard copy, which I think is more special, because I have amazing covers that even like Kanye West would jerk off a long time all the time, for the whopping price of $9.99, prove your love for dad and buy my entire tsunami of A-plus gemry that's representing the totality of best books dad never read. Control my kids a comedy, a love story. Do what all dad does jokes. Resist this and the great American Jew novel, all available on Amazon right now. Tell Pops to write a review in my honor. We sell Doodle Dad Pride here, so if you give a shit about celebrating everything your dad did to make you a success in this world, then I would get right on that task. Consider it your mitzvah for the year. And I have some more material that I want to share with you. And I'm not going to be doing material as far as new jokes all that much moving forward. Right now I'm in the process of getting my next book together, The Day Democracy Died. <laughs> so I obviously care about being employed in corporate America ever again and obviously care about uh, reigniting 
uh, relationships with my parents and old fake news friends ever again. And I really care about preserving the uh, sanctity of my marriage, <laughs> despite me being more uh, physically active uh, with wife these days. Both of us giving up alcohol has helped out tremendously. I strongly encourage the development. For example, last night I had my wife's pierogi that my mother-in-law makes. And I said, does this have cheese in it? Is this a cheese pierogi? She said, they always had cheese. I'm like, oh, so that's another example of <laughs> how alcohol lies to you. It's a book my wife read. So alcohol lies to you, or, or all those uh, high-end <laughs> pretentious wine. I said, oh, this pairs with this, this pairs with this. In fact, it really strips your taste buds dry, and this makes you a more bloated, elitist douchebag than ever before. The, um, but you don't have to be an elitist douchebag to, you know, uh, you can be an elitist douchebag and not drink high-end wine. Now, I'm not calling my mom an elitist douchebag. However, <laughs> I did have a conversation with her about her not being able to respect my son and her not knowing what to tell her friends, which, you know, I was a Trump supporter. That was before we let democracy die on our watch. But so, so hey, Biden administration, does that make it a domestic terrorist? I don't like Trump anymore. Because <laughs> he allowed what, what's in existence now. So, like, where does that put me exactly? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're Mr. Popular, but everyone loves you. The um, you're a a man of your times. The um, <laughs> so my point is, oh yeah, so my mom, you could just make an argument that my mom loses some of her elitist luster when uh, she's content uh, drinking uh, Chardonnay uh, before it's had an opportunity to cool. <laughs> so. I used to sell wine for a little bit, so like I know a little bit more than like the typical jerk off who just knows that like Trader Joe sells the cheap stuff. <laughs> so I speak from personal experience. And also I gotta be honest, every time I drank wine, I felt like a like an alcoholic wino. And that was even just from like having like a bottle to myself, like on occasion when the wife was out <laughs> on Adderall. <laughs> I always felt like beer was like the perfect happy medium. But then again, you feel like a boozy alcoholic when you drink those double APAs too. So that argument doesn't really hold up either. And booze, forget about it. You know, I drink bourbon very fast. I mean, I go through like an entire bottle in less than two days. But at least I'm aware of like my crazy hick DNA. So I don't keep it in the house. But I got to be honest. Moving forward, I just don't see myself being able to make that like happy medium. Where I only drink on my birthday or for Hanukkah. I don't know. We'll see. The um, I wouldn't mind drinking bourbon on, on Hanukkah again. It's like my... It's like a, a freaking Mardi Gras for me this past year. But then again, this time next year, I plan on being busy, having actual like road gigs. <laughs> so waking up with a freaking hangover to bourbon is not really going to be in, is not going to be in my best interest. So, but I, I firmly believe that God gives you bare shirts in this world, which are people that are meant to be in your life for a reason. My daughter had me signed a no beer contract until I dunked out, but she said only for special occasions. But I don't know. Anything for the special occasions, I'll just be content taking a uh, weed gummy and do my best to get into banging the wife again. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> so, so like I was saying, um, I do have some more jokes. Uh, but I know you guys like to hear my conversational flow, especially off the Adderall. And God, I'm really serious this time. It's not that my intentions weren't serious before, but I really don't want to do... Adderall anymore. I know I don't need it. I already suffer from motor mouth disease. I know I've got an innate, awesome, natural flow. And I just, I can't deal with my wife making any more comments saying, you know, stop lying to God as if all of a sudden, like, she acknowledges your existence and cares about, you know, following your kosher law. But I'll give credit where credit's due. She has been making hala. Uh, and she's been embracing my kosher meals as of late. So that's nice. You can say she's also doing it because she's spending all the money on a bread maker <laughs> and trying to save money. And it's also her way of getting more followers on her Instagram feed or that she's doing it because it will be really good evidence in court uh, if we were to actually go to divorce court one day for say, well, this is proof that I really don't hate the Jewish people <laughs> for respecting your law despite me constantly pushing my husband to eat free range because it's humane. <laughs> uh, like uh, protesters, like peaceful protesters who support... Hamas controlled Palestine's ex uh, existence 
as far as uh, being able to shoot rockets into Israel's backyard indiscriminately. Because the UN's got their back, and why can't the world just allow terrorist leaders in charge uh, benefit the doubt and uh, a chance to try to annihilate Israel another day? Holla! Thank you very much! Hey, Dorea by far is represents the best of New York City basketball ever. Hey, asshole, he doesn't represent New York City basketball to me. Don't act like he's a fucking playground legend. He's not Bernard King. He's not Chris Mullen. So go woke yourself. Holla! Thank you very much! Bernard King in his prime would have eaten his breakfast for and lunch and dinner and fucking brunch in Brooklyn and Park Soap. Fucking 10 days a week. Holla. Thank you very much. He had that fucking snarl. Way nastier dunker. Way more creative with the back behind the basket. He was the fucking black Larry Bird. Suck on that, Stephen A. Holla. Thank you very much. I remember like reading last night. Uh, what was his line? I love this. Uh, some Republican piece of shit. The uh, Justin Amash. Where he says... Uh, if you don't vote, you've given up on our country. <laughs> Which I found very com comical. Because I felt like he was expressing like a latent fear that could become magnified moving forward. Because if nothing comes about this audit in Arizona, and if it doesn't have that domino effect that real patriots pray to fucking God that happens, then what's the point of voting anymore? We're even like American Idol. Because... Law and order doesn't exist anymore. And it's become mob rule. And pretty soon in our country, you get arrested for uh, criticizing uh, Babyface Omar for being anti-Semitic runt. Or for me just doing a simple joke such as, I just learned about an old Muslim girl problem in De Detroit. So the problem is like mine. Pork free. So in the end, as far as Americans not voting anymore, knowing that Supreme Court has been completely neutered and rendered useless, then the quote, the great, and I'm not being serious, Hillary, Hammer Time, Cankles, I'm not being serious, but her being great, what difference does it make? Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> Definitely going out with the bang here, folks. That bang being two shots in the back of my fucking head by you-know-who in a matter of moments. <laughs> But we're not going to let that fear disrupt my killer flow for the ages. So again, prove to me how much you love me. Prove to me that you want to continue hearing my comedic ascent to superstardom and buy my books for pops on Amazon. Resist this. Do it all that. There's jokes. Control my kids a comedy a love story and the great American Jew novel. All right. I think this is a record. I've done multiple plugs for my books, and I've never done that before. So you can't make a claim that I'm being a pushy, greedy, heebie Jew. <laughs> so I'm going to get back to my previous flow about the uh, not getting the uh, vaccination yet. <laughs> Why haven't I gotten the vaccine yet? I don't want to talk about that. But again, I will say this. The, um, I have loved my run on this like podcast so far. And I'm not saying I'm going to stop doing it like tomorrow. But right now... My main objective, more than it's more important than anything in this universe, is for me to get a freaking talent agent, uh, more specifically, a, a literary agent that is going to be the fiercest advocate of my voice and my books and my material being heard to the world at large. So I can make the most of my comedic gift of song on display here. Daily Show King reigns supreme. Good for Jon Stewart for insisting the maiden Wuhan, Wuhan virus. 
Good for John Stewart for insisting the made in Wuhan virus originated in the Wuhan Respiratory Coronavirus Lab that's still uh, fully operational. Although, I'd be asking too much for Stewart to claim masks don't prevent you from getting the virus, just like Colbert hiding behind his Bill O'Reilly shtick didn't prevent him from catching the funny Jew bone bug from his former boss through sheer osmosis, <laughs> especially after he became en masse as a sellout propagandist shitbag hack for kissing batshit crazy Pelosi's ass like the rest.